I'm probably gonna play badly because I played 15 second on Lee Chess. Okay, let's close the chess. We might, he plays the Fianchetto. Okay, no, he plays the main line. He plays a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm gonna play my main line here, which is C6. Which one everybody plays, knight bd7. Queen b6, this is theory. Knight b3 and a5 is the line. Yeah, knight a4. Wait, is it queen b4? Or does queen b4 lose the queen? No, queen b4 probably loses the queen. I'm gonna go queen c7. This guy has said, we've had matches where he's beaten me like a lot of games, so I have to be very careful. He's really good. He's a Hungarian, a young Hungarian GM, and Adam Kozak. Very strong player. Good bull player, too. Yeah, Adam is good. He's a known, he's a known blitz specialist in Hungary. I mean, he's a, he's a, G, he's a reputable GM, but he's... He's well known as a very good blitz player in Europe. Yeah, he's got C5. Of course, I blundered. Here, here the blunders begin. Queen B4, he's got Bishop D2. Amazing. But it's still not so one-sided here. Far from one-sided, actually. I'm probably better without the pawn even. Position is riddled with holes, but uh, I don't know. He seems very confident. Yeah, I'm definitely, I would definitely take black here despite the extra pawn. Does he have some bullshit with rook d1? Is that what he's calculating? It's probably what he's calculating. I'll let him calculate it, whatever. Take your time, Adam. Wait, what do I, okay, he doesn't do it. He was probably calculating it. Okay, bishop e6, I've got a nice little time advantage now. And the threats are knight d3, etc. Maybe take, oh, oh, wait, no. If he takes, actually, I wanna take on d2. I guess he goes rook c2, I guess e5, which I missed, of course, but yeah, blunder d5. I'm definitely like borderline winning here, I just gotta find the moves. Just gonna play on time, play for the clock here. Okay, I could take. Don't have much of enough. I can also go rook d4. Or did I blunder bishop b3? Wait, no, 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 I have rook g4. But he's got a. Okay, 94. He is very, very fast, though, so I have to be extra disciplined. Yeah, and this is exactly what I didn't want to allow. His rook gets active and he probably draws. I'm gonna try to flag him. That's a good move, Jesus. I could take it and go rook d8. Probably I should do, or even rook e8, but. Of course I bungled this completely, but I could flag him. Okay, that's a bad one. Oh my gosh, let's get this, it's fine. I, I mean, this is easy to flag. There's, there's no way he's holding this, he's got no time.
Wait, why am I shoot? And allow some rook trade or something. There, 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 there. There's just no way. There's just no way he's making it here. Unless I blunder my rook. Which I'm not gonna do. I have no plans of doing that. Now I'm actually winning on the board. Let's just mate. Okay, let's see how he plays against Jababa. Okay, let's go knight f3, knight e5, b4, knight f d7. Okay, that's a move, yeah. Okay, I can go queen g4, I can castle. Let's go queen g4 first and then we'll see. Okay, castle. Five. Oh, I blundered a piece again. I just did this earlier. Okay, gotta pretend like I said I was planning to sack it. Okay, doesn't see g5, or maybe he did and he's afraid of the sack. I can sack like this also, but it's bad. Okay, I'm I'm just busted here. Okay, no Jababa against him. Oh yeah, yeah what a disaster here. Okay, takes an F4. That's my idea, but no. Should be. <laughs> How did I allow this to happen in my own opening? I'm gonna probably blunder the queen here. Yep. Uh, shit. Mm, here it takes still a game. Okay, no more Jabawa against him. I mean, it's not so clear clear cut. Ooh, he lets me out a bit. He probably missed Queen E3. It's still terrible for me, but at least it's playable at least i'm not down a queen yeah but he just goes h3 and wins probably takes takes rook d1 maybe wait does he really want to okay no takes takes if he takes hg i take bishop takes b5 check and i win the queen he could go for the queen sack there, but I'm not con... Okay, he does. Okay, takes, takes, king g1. But I'm hanging by a thread there. Maybe I should have left the pawn on g2, I don't know. Queen g5 is an idea. Wait, that looks like a blunder. But I can't figure out why, and I'm running out of time. Yeah, sadly, he saw it. Queen takes g4. Maybe it's... Probably too risky, but I'll play it. 
I kind of have a draw in my pocket if I want it. And this time advantage is not that vast anymore, and he's panicking. King g7, which of course I blundered. Oh my gosh. Four. I guess he has f5. Does he have f5? He has f5. I don't know. I see, though. Just a couple moves away from winning this game. Okay, just don't take on f5. Whatever you do, do not play EF because that gets mated. I don't see a move for him. Hope I don't blunder mate here. Um, it's just rook d1. What what I think. Okay, I mean if he wants to repeat this line, that's fine. I, I, I got a good position here. We have a little theoretical battle unfolding. I think I went wait, well, what did I do here? Did I go ninety five? I think I did go ninety five. And then I went here, or did I? No, 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 no. Why didn't I think? Is, is the, are we repeating the first game or not? I can't figure that out. I guess we are. Wait, what about knight c4? It's interesting. Probably a blundering of peace, but whatever. Let's try it. No, I don't. I don't want to play Jabba because I'm gonna just play one e four. It was awful. Out of the opening, I forget how to play that in that line. Pseudo edge. I hope you're being sarcastic right now. Do you realize that I put up a good fight in the last game? Maybe I should have played Bishop c four. I'm sure you would have converted it easily, but you know, not all people are as good at technique. Okay, so let's try to understand exactly what's going on here. Knight takes e4 is what I thought I had, but now I realize, I, of course, I blundered. He has queen b6, and he wins. Knight d7, queen d6, queen d6, rook d6, ba, rook d7, a, b, a, b, bishop g2, probably draw. Do I have anything other than a draw? Oh, I have ba immediately. Trying to figure this out. Knight d5 is also a move. Queen drops back, takes, 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 takes. That's probably the best version, I think. I think this is the best version. Takes, 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 six, six, six. Okay, moves his knight back. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to play here. Okay, I gotta move. This guy will eat me alive on the clock if I don't keep up. Which 
just taking a rook c8, very calm. This is a draw, I think, but I can try to play this for one because I got the passer. I blunder this move. Amazing. Why am I so freaking slow? So slow. And I took like a solid 30 seconds on that move. Ugh, phone. And I don't have time to mute it right now. He is a good bullet player. He's not a great bullet player. Should be able to beat him here. We're playing a bullet game. We're playing a bullet game. Come on. Why did I do that? I, I, I let his rook get to a defense card. It's okay. I had rook d3 also winning this spot, by the way. I can mute my freaking phone. It wasn't a message, it was like it was like chess.com challenges and stuff. Okay, he's gonna play a Berlin. Let's see if he knows this line. He seems to be very booked up, so would not be surprised. Yeah, he seems to know what he's doing here. Okay, wait. Yeah, this I'm not familiar with. If I take here. I'm kind of tempted to call his bluff. I feel like this loses. I'm calling his bluff. I don't I don't believe this. I know he's playing quickly, but I don't buy any of what he's doing right now. Okay, now I know the answer. It was a bluff. I know. I know it was a freaking goddamn bluff. There's no because I've never seen that line in like my many years of playing this Berlin anti-Berlin line. So I knew it was a. I knew it was bullshit. Okay, I mean, this This is winning in 788 ways. I'm going to play like a Russian schoolboy and trade. Okay, thank you for the pawn. Okay. 
Mm, then it gets too vicious. Okay, whatever. It's another pawn. I'm making this a little bit more complicated than it's supposed to be, but it's still completely winning. Yeah, it's over. I mean, I just win everything there. And he's just gonna, okay, this time goes bishop f4, which is interesting. I think here the move is, don't remember if it's knight e5 or knight b6. I don't have a plan. My plan is to play chess. How, how about that? Okay, now I don't know what to do. Let's go knight fd7. Flip a knight around. Okay, I'm just gonna make the standard King's Indian moves and hope for the best. Okay. Maybe knight g4, I don't even know. D4, D4, 96 is possible. Positional sacrifice. Loves all. Okay, let me think about this for a hot second here. I need to figure out exactly what's going on in this position. There must be something here. I, I can feel it. But I don't want to take too long. There's also rook a3. Okay, I feel like bishop takes d4 is the move, but I'm, I'm just going to play the more King's Indian approach. Queen b2, I think I can get away with queen b4. Okay, it's a very good sign that he's investing a lot of time here. It means he doesn't know what to do. Or he's calculating a win with like knight b5. No, knight b5 is crappy, I think. I take on b5. This is fine. And the queen b2, I think queen b4. Okay, he's taken over 30 seconds here, so now we're building up a nice time advantage on top of some initiative in the position. Okay. Okay, I think that's bullshit. Okay, I can take with the queen, which is very tempting. Oh, he doesn't, whoa. Oh, I see, did I mess up? I probably did, didn't I? Let's take this guy. What am I blundering? He played that very, very quickly. But probably it's losing for white. Okay, now let's see if I can understand. Let's go like this. There's signs. Okay, 